In this video today, we're going to be taking a look at the Ring Smart Lighting Starter Kit and see if it is worth the price. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Steve from the YouTube channel Steve Does, and I want to thank you for joining me here at reviews.org. So I was taking a look at some smart lighting and I noticed that Ring has smart light bulbs now. I'm taking a look at Amazon, they run about $15 a piece, which is pretty much right in par with what I'm seeing out there. Anything from, you know, maybe 10 to $20 for a light bulb. So $15 didn't seem bad for a Ring branded product. Now, taking a look at what this thing offers, it's got 800 lumens, which is really nice. An estimated energy cost for a year is a dollar and two cents to run this thing for a year. Now that is going off the facts if you're running it only three hours a day at 11 cents per kilowatt, so it's obviously gonna be different. Last up to 22 years, that's huge. Light appearance is 3,500 Kelvin, which is gonna be a bright white and energy used is going to be 8.5 watts. So opening up and taking a look at the light bulb right here, inside the packaging, we have got a ring decal that says protected by ring. So hopefully you got some cameras to go along with that. Otherwise you can just pretend like you do. Um, we've got some documentation and then we have got the light bulb right here. Now the cool thing about this, this is an LED light, is that this is plastic. So you don't have to worry about it shattering in case it does break. This thing can be used indoor and outdoor. However, it says if you do use this outdoor, it has to be under some kind of covering or inside some protective light fixture. It can't be out in the elements. This is just like a normal light bulb. You cannot get this wet. Now, one thing that I was noticing on the box here is if we take a look on the side, requirements. So it does require the bridge. So if you guys are looking at this, on Amazon and you see that, hey, this is only $15. I'll pick up a couple of these and use them. Be aware that it does require a bridge. So they do have a starter kit. Uh, that's what we picked up here, which does come with a ring bridge and it comes with two light bulbs in that starter kit right there. So the good thing about having a bridge is that the lights will connect to the bridge bridge will connect to your Wi-Fi and that's going to take off some load from your Wi-Fi because if these things connect directly to Wi-Fi, they're always going to be pinging your Wi-Fi and hence slowing it down. Especially say you've got five, six, ten of these light bulbs constantly pinging that router, it's really going to bog down your system. But if you have ten lights that are pinging this bridge, and the bridge is then connected to the router, then the bridge will be the only one dedicated to that Wi-Fi router, which will just help lighten the load on your router. So that is why the bridge is good. But some cool things that I was reading about the bridge is that this bridge is going to connect all of your ring devices together. So if we open up the box and take a look at what comes inside, we've got documentation, we've got a, another sticker in here, we've got the bridge itself. So here is the bridge, pretty small. We've got the box of tools. So I believe in here we're gonna have the power cable and then also a charging brick. And then we've also got some screws and anchors in here. One thing to note, also look into the box. So if you notice in the box here, it looks like it's empty. The bracket for this bridge is down underneath all the packaging. So make sure you do pull that out too. But this is the bracket. This is what you're going to connect to a wall either with screws or maybe some double-sided sticky tape. You can then slide the bridge into there, plug it in, and then kind of mount this wherever you want to. Now what really gets cool about this bridge is that the bridge is going to connect all of your ring devices together, meaning not just your light bulbs, but also your security cameras too. The benefit of this is you can set up different routines to say if your camera detects motion, turn on the porch lights. But on the reverse side of that, there are some ring lights that do have motion sensors built into it and they actually just sell just motion sensors if you want to do that. But you can connect those motion sensors, whether it be the path lights or an actual motion sensor, out further in front of your house to activate your cameras earlier. So right now, if you have, say, a ring video doorbell and it's not recording a person approaching the door and then walking away, so you're only getting their back, 
you can have these motion sensors or path light sensors, when they detect motion, just trigger your cameras to actually turn on earlier than they normally would. So that's a huge benefit right there. I do have the Ring Stick Up camera, so I'm gonna do a test in a little bit, showing you guys how when motion is detected with a camera, it's actually gonna turn on my porch lights. But before we do that, let's get this thing set up in the app, configured, and then we will do that demo. All right, so I have my app loaded up here. I'm gonna click on set up a device at the bottom. We are going to click on the smart lighting and it's gonna ask us to add the bridge. So you can either add the bridge, there's a barcode on the back of the bridge, or it came with a paper. So I'm just gonna use the paper right here. We're gonna scan the barcode. It's gonna set up a device. And you know, I should probably get this thing plugged in. Okay, now it's telling me to plug it in. So the bridge is on, waiting for the bridge to finish the setup. So we're waiting for a blue flashing light on here. All right, the light is now flashing blue on here. That took about a minute for it to happen. So we're gonna click on, it is flashing blue. It's gonna ask to join the network. So we're gonna join the network that this is providing right here, connecting to the ring bridge. Okay, it found my Wi-Fi network right here. So we're gonna connect it to that. I'm gonna give it the password. Okay, so the bridge finally connected it to my Wi-Fi. Now it's gonna ask me if I wanna set up any smart lighting. So I will say yes. We're gonna set up the bulb that we had taken out before. We're gonna scan that code. Port notice for installation. Okay, it's looking for the bulb. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually plug this bulb. We'll put this bulb into this light that I have over here. All right, so we've got the bulb put in right there. We're gonna say, put this one in the front yard. Front yard bulb, A19. So I'm gonna put a ring in front of it because I to that. Continue. So we're not connecting that bulb to it, so that's perfect. Perfect. And I'll say I am done. So we've got that set up. We'll set up the other bulb a little bit later because I did get two bulbs with this one right here. Okay, it's asking if we want to add a lighting schedule. So I'm going to say add lighting schedule. Give it a schedule name. We will say nighttime looks good. When should the lights turn on and off? So we'll say turn the lights on at dusk but let's turn the lights off at a custom time. Let's do 10 p.m. All right, so the lights are gonna turn on every day at dusk, turn off every day at 10 p.m. We're gonna say continue. Keep all days selected, that's fine. Brightness, we'll do 100% brightness, I'm okay with that. And perfect, now we have the schedule set up. So in the app here, if you notice, it does say light, so I've got neighbors, history and lights, all lights are off, which is kind of funny because the light is on right now. Clicked it, so it says lights on. Okay, register lights on, let's see if we can turn it off now. All right, there we go, lights off. All right, so let's go ahead, I'm gonna select the light. So we've got the devices here for the front yard. Select the light right there. We've got event history. This is gonna show us when to turn on and off, basically what it's been doing in its history right there. We've got our lighting schedule. So this is the one that we had just set up when we are configuring the light. So that looks good right there. It looks like you can toggle these on and off. So if you wanna have a bunch of different ones, you can do that, toggle them on and off. So let's get this one back on. Back out of the schedule here, device health. So this is going to give us the status of the light and everything looks good and online. And then we've got general settings here. So for general settings, we're really just gonna be able to name it and then add it to groups. So not a whole lot we're gonna be able to do with this light in here. Okay, so now that we've got the bridge of the first light set up, I'm gonna set up the second light out in the backyard, and then I'm gonna show you guys the demo of using the camera to turn on the light bulbs when somebody approaches the door. All right, so camera is gonna be all about placement. I just stuck mine right down here on the windowsill just to give a demo of when it detects motion, it's gonna turn on the light above it. So if we walk in front of it, you can see the light is now blue on there and the light is already on. So we've already got the porch light on, turned on that quickly by motion detection from the camera that was sitting, shooting at the path, walking up to my house. All right, so what did you guys think about that? Pretty cool that you can turn your lights on from the motion sensor of your camera. If you guys wanna see how I did that, I'm gonna be working on a how-to video showing you guys the steps that I went to set that up. So if you're not subscribed, don't forget to do that so you are notified when that video is posted. Now to answer the question that we had asked in the beginning of this video, is this starter kit worth the price? And $60 for two lights and the bridge 
is a savings compared to just buying everything individually, but it also is pretty expensive. If you're gonna add additional lighting onto this, if you're gonna go full blown ring and get their path lights and their spotlights and just all of their cameras, and if you're just really going to invest in ring, then this is definitely worth the investment. Being able to link all of your Ring products together is a pretty cool feature. Another positive is that everything will be centralized into one app, so you only have to one app to monitor all that stuff. But if you do wanna save some money, there are options outside of investing in the bridge. You can look at plenty of other different light bulbs out there, ones that say work with Amazon, then you can connect that all to your Amazon app and set up different routines through there to pretty much get the same results. The only difference is you're gonna be managing several different apps. But what are your thoughts on this starter kit and just the ring setup here? Is that something that you're gonna be investing in or that you have invested in and you're gonna be picking something like this up? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys wanna know more about the ring products or their different lighting, check out the link below to reviews.org. If you guys wanna see more from me, check out my YouTube channel, Steve Does, where I do a lot of cool smart home videos and other tech related stuff. If this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let me know that you liked it. I wanna thank you for joining me here at reviews.org and I'll see you guys in the next video.